decided to do a little review on the Trangia 27 2 UL cooking system. I uh, decided to upgrade the kit that I take and there was a great choice in uh, places like Go Outdoors etc. And I was tempted obviously to get the cheaper uh, units which look similar but in the end I, I went for the Trangia. Uh, it's an ideal size for fitting into the kayak and it seems, well, its reputation stands on its own but uh, it seems to be really well made and designed. Right. Inside, I'll look inside here. You've got the basic uh, kit wrapped up there, uh, so it really should have most of everything in it. It's got the band to keep it all together, and uh, it's kind of a compact unit which will easily fit inside a kayak. It's a two person cooking system and uh, quite simple to operate. On opening it up, you see inside it's quite well packed in. Uh, there's a handle that allow you to lift uh, your pots, etc. Uh, it has stability legs, which, depending on the size of the pans or if you're using a kettle. Then you lift them out or drop them in. It's got the little kettle which fits neatly inside one of the pots. It has two bowls. And it opens out to be the base. We'll take this strap off. That's the base, you turn it upside down like so. Inside the kettle is the burner. Burners inside there. Burner sits directly on top of the base. This is just a simmering cover that allows you to adjust the heat that comes out when the burner's in operation. Takes a bit of getting used to, I guess. And underneath the cap there is the burner itself. Now, uh, it t states in the instructions that you shouldn't use this indoors, so that's uh, obviously the sensible way. Uh, I'll show you how it uh, goes together. Uh, part of the reason I, I got it, because I've, I've got a jet boil at the moment, uh, was that I just felt that sometimes the jet boil with the ignition system, etc., or anything with the ignition system, could become... Uh, you know, compromised by water. So I really wanted a system that was simple and yet uh, worked well. So this was the reason I came to this. Uh, I don't want to be, if I'm carrying matches or lighters again, they can, they can go wrong. So the decision was made to uh, get something that could be lit with uh, something like this, fire steel. Uh, so basically that creates a spark and the hope is that uh, that spark will be enough to light the meths which is contained within the can. So just let's have a look at that and as, as I say 
you shouldn't be, I shouldn't be doing it indoors, but uh, it shouldn't be lit indoors really. So off the top, just being tightly put on, because there is mess in it. Not much, but there is some. So put the top all the way out. Now to light it, uh, basically the hope is that I can just direct a spark directly inside it. You see there, it's lit. So that to me is your know, perfect scenario. Uh, nothing to, uh, nothing to get damp. Nothing to go, uh, you know, get wasted. The steel will light it pretty well every time, and I think in, in most any conditions. The Trangia itself, they say, it will uh, excel in windy conditions. It has some air holes on the side here, which. Uh, you should direct into the flow of the wind and that will indeed allow it to uh, work at its best. You see the flame there I think and uh, you can see that it's uh, burning quite well. Obviously if it was windy, well in, in normal cooking circumstances the first, the next thing you would do is you would just place the can over and then just lock it into position. So we now have a situation, the burner is running inside and you know it's ready to ready to cook. You drop the rings down and if you're going to be boiling some water then obviously uh, fill your uh, kettle with water and then it just drops inside and fits neatly onto the uh, burners, onto the supports. Let's take that off just now. Now, obviously I don't want this running here just now, but you can see it's running really rather well. Um, to actually shut it down, all you really have to do is get the simmering ring this simmering ring and really just place it over the flame like that. Uh, that's going to suffocate the flame from any further air and it'll just go out. Now you should never relight uh, or you, well you can relight but you should never uh, top up the meths unless the uh, burner container here is completely cool and obviously the flame is out. It would be very dangerous to do that. Um, so I'll put it back together again just to give you an idea of the setup. So, again, as I say, kettle uh, quite happily working there, and I think you could see by the flame it would uh, heat it really rather quickly. Uh, once finished with that, you can lift out the pan supports like so, and now you have the options of using the frying pan. So that'll allow you to fly, fry or uh, you know, heat anything that you want to in there. Let's off with that. Or we could drop them in again and we've got cook pots. I'd like you to do your uh, beans, stews, anything inside there and both of those will fit within that cooking system. So that's a Trangia 27-2UL. It stores away quite nicely. These will only go one way together. Disconnect. The ring. This is now off. Remove that. You have a top blanket plug. Now the blanket plug has a, an o-ring, big rubber o-ring within it, so that actually would conserve whatever fuel is still left in there and stop it evaporating. You would wait until it all completely cooled down. Tighten it up nicely, 
take it off to one side, pop on the simmering ring. The simmering ring just basically works like uh, that. Then store it all inside a plastic bag to protect the inside of your kettle. So again, kettle open, inside with your meth burner, just store your fire steel in there too, keeps it all together, on with the lid. Upside down with the base, pull out these parts, drop in the pans, drop in the kettle, drop down pan supports, insert the handle, place on the lid, and Rethread the strap. Start just basically down through there. Take it right up to the buckle. Up through here. Lock it all together. the Trangia cooking system. I keep it in a dry bag so I would store it in a dry bag within the kayak so basically off it goes inside there keeps it safe There'll be a link on the on the video uh, for stockists etc.